Hey everyone, what's up? It's Al with Chasing the Green Mushroom, and today I've got a random three up. Yeah, you didn't expect that three up, huh? I got three programs that are gonna keep your drivers smooth, updated, and running great on your computer. And if you don't know what drivers are, they're the software provided by the manufacturer to keep the hardware in your machine going and running. Everything in your computer has a driver, your network card, your sound card, the motherboard itself, graphics card, all that stuff. If you don't keep them updated or have the most stable builds on there, um, you know, all kinds of gnarly stuff can start happening. You can have lockups, blue screens of death, freezing, slow runtime, um, you know. Uh, so keeping them updated and keeping the best ones on there, the most stable builds, will make a more stable machine and hopefully make your machine run faster. And in the case of graphics cards, they usually provide updates every time a new game comes out and you'll get higher frame rate and better effects out of the game, especially if it's one that's hot to trot. So to just start off, for your graphics card, they have their own software suites. You know, you go to NVIDIA or whatever, they'll have a thing that automatically detects your card and gives you the best drivers. That's the way to go with graphics cards. But for everything else, I've got two programs right here. Um, one is called Slim Drivers and the other is called Driver Booster. They're both free, they both have a pro version, but the free versions, especially used together, work great. Now Slim Drivers has a bigger database and it'll find more obscure stuff if somebody gives you an old machine or you know you don't know specifically what it is, so it's an old piece of hardware you're trying to get going. The slim Drivers will usually find it, but you have to manually update every single driver. It'll find a list for you automatically, but you have to click download, click install, click next, next, next. Driver Booster doesn't have as big a database, but it usually finds your stuff. Um, it finds decent versions of the drivers. And what I really like is you can just check them off in a list, have it download, install, and then there's an option to have it shut down or reboot automatically, which I really like because when you're going through your whole machine you'll be amazed at how much stuff is in there to download and it's nice to just set it up to run and go to bed or go do something in the house and come back and it's just done and updated for you. And the third program is a program called Spessy. Spessy is just an awesome tech tool. It's very small, it's free, you throw it on there, you load it up and it tells you everything that's in your machine, man. It gives you serial numbers, bottle numbers, temperatures while it's running. Um, you know, what kind of RAM you have, the manufacturer. So if there's something that the other two programs can't find, go get Spessy, throw it on there, and check it out. And you can probably find a model number or a serial number and go to the forums or Google it and end up finding what you're looking for. Um, if you want more detail on how to use them, I've got another link and I'm going to show me just using them real quick and how I set them up and use them. So thanks, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff, and I will see you soon.